A few years ago, Hannah Malka Geltaylor was driving down the Garden State Parkway. She was coming from Lakewood, New Jersey, heading to New York, and she realized that her gas tank is close to empty. I stopped for gas on the Garden State Parkway at exit 127. She pulls up to a pump, and she notices that the attendant, whose name was Vinny, was only around three and a half feet tall. Vinny comes over, puts the pump in her gas tank, and he proceeds to go wash the windshield. And as he was washing one of the windows, he like stopped short. And I'm wondering, like, what's this guy looking into my car for? And he pointed to the picture that I had in my car because I was moving that day. I knock on the window, and I'm like, what's this about? And she goes, it's about my, uh, my father, uh, right by Gail cell. I'm like, he's your father? He said, I've been looking for him for two years. He said, that he knew him. All the time, you, you come here and talk to me. He's like, get out of here. I'm like, yeah. Hanamalka says, you know, my father, unfortunately, was involved in a bus accident and he passed away recently. Then he started crying. He said that day by day, week by week, people come in, in the rain, sleet, snow, they drive through, they ask for gas, and they just drive away. Some of them look at me weirdly because he clearly has a different Look. But your father came out of his car the moment he saw me. He looked at me straight in the eye and he said, you are my inspiration. You have every reason to play the role of victim and stay in bed in the morning and not come to work like a regular person. Yet, you choose to act as if you don't have a handicap and you come to work like everybody else. You get the car every day, be nice to me and uh, talk to me all the time follow me around, keep me company. You call me like a giant man. And I'm like, thank you, thank you. You know, most people think that in order to impact or change someone's life, you have to give this dramatic, powerful speech, or you have to go take courses on developing people skills. But the truth is, most of the time, it's the sincerity and the simplicity of the encounter that leaves a lasting impression. My father told Vinny that he was on the way to his yeshiva, Ar Yisrael, where he's a Rosh Yeshiva of 200 boys, and he was gonna go in with a lesson for the day that he met this fantastic guy who overcame his given challenges. And I'm gonna tell them that if you can do it, they can do it too. Vinny turns to Hannah Malk and he says, that day, your father was the first person to ever make me feel tall. After my father was nifter, we heard so many stories of all the things that he's done for his Talmudian, for his friends, for the neighbors, community, family, and it was inspiring, but it was within the boundaries of the Jewish community. When I heard the story from Vinny, it opened a whole new world. It was a lesson for me that he took every opportunity to make a difference in every person's life, regardless of anything. Her father was the first person to ever make me full talk.